clearing the cache files on your iPhone is really important. And I suggest you do this every once in a while. You will get way more free space on your iPhone and your iPhone doesn't have to carry all that like trash files from different apps and different websites and all of those things. So in this video, I will show you guys eight tips and tricks that actually work and will guarantee that you will clear those cached files out of your device, get enough free space and never worry about having free storage on your iPhone ever again. Now, the first thing I would suggest you guys do, which I suggest not just for clearing the cache files, but for other things as well, performance and everything else, you should reboot your device. I would suggest every user to do this at least once a week. It will be way, way better. Especially if you have an older iPhone, you will notice that it will actually even perform better. So you can see what I'm talking about here. When you go to your iPhone storage section and you go to the like the bottom here, you will see in this case it says iOS 17. It has changed a bit here and then it's system data. Sometimes here you will see a lot of gigs that are just taken up by system files and things like that. Those are also like system cached files that are there and sometimes they won't clean up, they will stay there just taking a lot of space on your device. Now the only way you can actually remove those is rebooting your device. So you can see right here we have 11 gigs and then we have 4.14 right here. So let's go ahead and try to reboot the device and see how it will affect that storage. Now the way to do it, pretty simple. Launch Siri and ask to reboot the device. Restart this device. And as you can see right now, the system data has actually dropped down for about maybe 800 megabytes. That's really, really cool and quite enough storage to actually free up with just a reboot of a device, which will take you like a few seconds. Now we're going to stay here under the iPhone storage for the next tip as well. Now this is really, really important. A lot of apps actually offer the ability to clear the cached files from within the apps via the app settings. Like if we take a look at these apps right here, like the social media apps, they will of course just have a ton of data there because they save pictures and all that stuff. So you can see we have Snapchat. It does offer you an option to clear the cache from the app. I will show you guys that in a second. Then we have here TikTok and Spotify and all these apps. But if we go to something like TikTok now, if you if I go to the settings of TikTok, it will say that I have around like 300 to 500 megabytes of cached files. But if we go here under the storage, you can see what it says. So app size. 321 megabytes while we have over two gigs of data. Now, what I would suggest you do when you see apps that have like that large number of data there and documents, go ahead and completely delete the app and reinstall it. Now, this will build up with time, but if I delete this now, it will probably take another three or maybe four months until it gets to this level. For that period of time, I will have all that storage free. Of course, it will start lower, it will start picking up, and of course, it will eventually come to this size again, but you can just delete the app and reinstall it. So let's try this out and you can see how we will get a lot of gigs free there. So let's delete the app completely. So the app has been reinstalled on the device. Let's go back here to the iPhone storage and you will see that that app will no longer actually have all that space. So let's just kill the app because it has the old info still. And when we go back here, try to find TikTok, you can see it's down here. Now you can see it has only eight megabytes of data. Again, this will build up with every app, not just TikTok in this case, but for a few weeks, you will have way more free storage. The next way to clear cached files is from your browsers. Browsers will have probably the most cached files out of any other app. So head on to Safari, which is of course the app that most iOS users will use. And you will see here the ability to clear history and website data. So we can tap here and just go ahead and clear everything out you can choose here all the history and everything will be cleared. Or what you can do is also go here to advanced. And then from here, you can go to website data. And here on the website data, you will see a list of all the different websites, all that have data stored on your device. These are all cached files from these websites. Now you can choose to actually delete any one of them individually or just delete completely all of them. 
The same goes for Chrome. If you use Chrome, I know a lot of iOS users do. Head on to Chrome, go to history and then tap on clear browsing data. So you will have here the browsing history. The cool thing about this is that you can actually deselect this so you don't have to clear the history. You can clear the cached files here and everything else. So of course you can just pick here what you want to actually clear just use cached images and files you're good to go you can go ahead and clear them and get way more free space on your iphone and now let's move on into apps go to snapchat if you use snapchat these are some apps i really like that they have this feature this is an amazing feature and i believe every app should have this so if you head on to snapchat and you go to your settings you scroll down here under privacy controls and go to clear data you will see here all the data that you can clear and you will have here a button to clear cached files now you can see in this case we have 4400 and 33 megabytes of cache data in Snapchat only. So we can go ahead and clear this out of here and we will have four more free gigs of space on our device as easy as that. Now you can do the same with TikTok as well. If you have been using TikTok for a long time and using a lot of time during the day, it will just have a ton of cache, cache files. So head on to settings here under TikTok and then go right here to cache and seller and go to free up space. Now right here you can see I just re-downloaded the app so it doesn't actually have any cached files but if you use it for a long time you will have a lot of cached files right here. It will also have here downloads where you can find like maybe videos or something like download but even if you don't download videos it will still show their downloads because they are like different filters so if you open them they will be downloaded so on both of these you will actually have a lot of storage there that has been just covered by these files so you will have of course the buttons that allow you to easily go ahead and clear this space from your device a similar feature can be found on the twitter app as well just head on to the settings of your twitter app and then go to here under accessibility display and language and here we'll find data usage if you go here you will actually find something called storage so you will have here media storage and web storage so what you can do here is go ahead and clear that media storage and web storage as well that way of course it will clear those data out of your device even though twitter is one of the apps that actually doesn't accumulate a lot of storage when it comes to cached files you can see right here i had the app installed for like a few months now and it's only around like 100 megabytes so that's really really cool and last but not least, another app that is used from a lot of people and that's Spotify. Head on to Spotify, go to the settings and you will find here storage. When you go to storage, you will have three different, like two different things here. You will have your downloads and you will have your cached files. So you can see what's happening here. The downloads on my Spotify app are taking it around 500 megabytes. And then the cached files are actually over two gigs. So you will have two buttons. You don't have to remove your downloads, but you can go ahead and clear the cached files out of here and get a ton of free storage on your device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is how you can clear the cached files from your iPhone in 2023. These are eight tips and tricks that do actually work and will guarantee you that we'll clear those files and get a ton of free storage on your iPhone. Again, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.